Um, well, some of the things we talked about worked. Our biggest concerns from them was their build-out play, uh, and I thought we had a pretty good pressing game after the nine or so minutes, uh, which actually one of the goals comes from us pressing them, recovering it, and then quickly countering. And then we wanted to try to match or I'll, I'll perform on the possession side, and we did. I think we won 52 to 48 or whatever it was. Um, so that was big against a team that's very good in, in those. That, that's their strengths. And we minimized it and actually were better in their own game at that. So it was good. When you look back, the only thing I, I didn't tell the guys in the locker room was what a response after taking an early goal, uh, which then I told to today. But that was the, the biggest credit for them to come back from a goal, one goal. Yeah. Have you ever seen a stretch where the team defended like that, 10 guys all over the field, really for 80 minutes? Uh, I thought we did it in Dallas. Uh, some of the the recap that we had, but there was two two uh, specific clips that we showed where it was I think the 91st and 93rd minute where we were still putting pressure on them and on their build up. Um, and I, you know, there's been some inconsistencies at time, but I think for the most part, this stretch that we've had, we've been pretty good at it, and and it shows it shows on the results. And what's it going to take to get a similar performance to what you guys put in in Dallas at KC, a team that standings may not show really or reflect how talented they are and how dangerous they can be. Good team, Casey. They, they like to play. They want to play soccer. They definitely have their style of play, home or away. Um, very similar to, to we just got from uh, from um, NYFC. Not not the formation, uh, but SKC rarely changes. You know, I think last year Peter Vermees pulled a quick one on us and in the Open Cup game he did a 5-3-2, which threw us off, and he hadn't done that in I don't know how many years. But for the most part, it's a 4-3-3. We know their three center mids are very good. We know their wingers like to get up in the attack, uh, out wide isolations or cut in for penetrating balls. And um, they're going to try to build from the back. So we're ready for it. All these games that we've had are very similar teams, starting with Tigres, Dallas. Uh, NYFC takes it to the extreme of playing, trying to play out the back. Um, so it would be very similar. It's, what can we do? Continue to go in the, in the right direction. Hopefully we can uh, get a good positive result. It seems like when, when this team kind of <clears throat> gets their first goal, things open up and they start scoring multiple. Um, why do you think that maybe this team is kind of, that that happens when you guys get that first goal? I don't know, that's a million dollar question. I, I don't know. I think, I mean, you can easily say confidence. You can easily say maybe based on the opponent, they fall apart at that point in time. I, I don't know. I just, I know we are a team that's capable of scoring from, from different areas. It isn't just one specific player. And I think that's been one of our strengths in the, in the past years. We don't, we don't have one guy that if he doesn't score, we're in trouble. You know, right now it seems, you know, Saba was picking up the slack as far as some goals, but also in his play. But then you have Albert come back from injury and he gets a goal. Then you have Dami's a threat right away. And then, you you know, your Corey's still itching for it, but is, is a threat. Bofo's a threat. And, you know, so it's multiple. And then I think in the last two games, three games, we've had three set piece goals. Um, so that's always something you want to have um, in these crucial times. And, you know, the, the stretch of the season, you sometimes it's, it's so tight, the match that that's a difference is a set piece whether you defend it properly or, or you take advantage of, of uh, one for for us so we need to just continue to get goals from wherever it doesn't matter the, the burden's not on one guy it's on defending right attacking out of a good defensive shape and whoever has the best opportunity to score if they can put it away that'd be great how is sam looking as he gets back into training here? he's he's looked great he's looked great we did uh he trained all yesterday with the team that didn't play um and they got pushed had some very good goals seemed sharp um, got some good play in today. We got some 11 aside. We did some finishing. Looked good in that. So it's he's he's going to be there, ready to to be contribute to the next coming games. Maybe a little bit of an easier question tactically, but the way you guys flip the field from kind of the first 20 minutes of the second half on Saturday to the last 20 minutes, where you're sort of digging in defensively, and then you almost flipped it like that, and you're attacking, attacking, and go, go, go. You get the second, the third goal, that kind of thing. How do you kind of do that? I guess that's maybe the million dollar question, but, but how do you kind of flip the field so well and, and, and maybe more importantly, is that kind of what this team sort of needs to do in a lot of ways because they're so good defensively sometimes to being so good offensively? Yeah, no, we've been doing an exercise here for the last month every Thursday on, on trying to get some pressing in higher up the park. So sometimes based on the opponent, we started a little slow five minute goal that we take um, it, it wasn't us trying to drop back at any point just the opponent came out that sharp and we didn't come out sharp so we didn't match that intensity then we find our legs around the ninth minute or so start fighting and you start seeing us put a little bit higher pressure and that was that was really what we wanted to do throughout the matches anytime we didn't have the ball there's times the opponent might pin you in 
but on square passes, on a negative pass, on on a, a player taking multiple touches in, in the back line that we needed to take ground. Uh, and Dami and Albert did a great job starting that, dictating that for the rest of the group. And and then when they play a, a ball that was slower, they'd go and press it. And it just allowed us to not stay in, in a defensive shape for long periods of time. You know, a lot of people probably wondered how long they could sustain that level of effort, but we were pretty deep in the game. And you had three RSL attacking players defending inside their 18. When it's working, is that kind of energizing for the guys? Yeah, they, they play off of that. They see it working. They smell blood in a way. They know that maybe a little extra they might, you know, win a ball in a high area and, and, and have a quick uh, opportunity to score. So I think that just goes off of, you know, sensing sensing the, the you know, smelling the blood in the water. So it's it's good. And they saw that one goal comes off of it, and anytime you can have that, the players then quickly buy into it, and then they want to get more out of it. What do you think the difference has been these past, like, couple months where it seems like you guys are kind of firing on all cylinders on both sides of the field. I, I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. It's been like that the last, you know, three years. It seems like we start getting into the stretch and maybe guys have a little more urgency. Um, we did, you know, credit to Mike. He, he wanted to really focus on, on us um, right after the break. He came back from his uh, coaching course uh, in Chicago and, and, you know, we sat down as a staff and we were maybe paying a, too much attention to the opponent. Um, and, and, and we kind of flipped it where, you know what, yes, the opponent counts. Let's not say it doesn't. They do count. They're, they can do, they have strengths and weaknesses, but it was more let's train more of what we want to get better at, and that's been the consistency. The, the training we did today is the training we did the last, you know, four weeks on, on the Tuesday, and then on Thursday we'll basically almost do the same. The, you know, there's some exercise that we switch or not just to keep it fresh, but the core of it, what we really want to accomplish to our style of play, we keep doing the same exercise, and the guys keep getting better at it.